Here is another interesting stairway design and again not that difficult. It looks complicated but uh, once I show you the uh, secret here you should be able to build something like this. I say build something like this. At the very least design something like this. So what we're going to do is start with drawing a line down the center of our 4 foot by 20 foot rectangle and then we are going to come back four foot then we're going to draw a circle and you can choose whatever circle you want for your stairway the diameter or the radius this is going to have a six foot diameter and a three foot radius and i came back four feet and it provides us with a starting line right here and the next step will be to remove the rest of the circle. All we're going to need is the shape of our tread right here. And again, if you make this, if you use smaller circles, the curve is going to be sharper. You use a wider um, diameters, maybe a six foot diameter. Then the shape here is going to be, it would probably be something like this. It's going to be, um, won't be as round. So the next step we're going to do is go back in one foot increments and uh, you can uh, choose whatever increments you want to use depending upon your local building codes. Um, the building code books that we use usually require 10 inches for the minimum step for residential stairs and 11 inches for other stairs. That would be the minimum tread. So here we went one foot just to make sure that we're not going to have a problem and of course you would need to check with your local building authorities to make sure you can actually build a set of stairs like this also the next step will be to draw our next tread and of course this is going to be a three foot radius you can simply just draw it from here to here we don't need to draw an entire circle and of course that would apply to this one here also and we're going back in our one foot increments so this is the way we're going to draw the second one and we're simply going to work our way down to draw as however many treads we need and there it is there's our stairway here's the top platform or the second floor and this would be the lower deck here now let's go ahead and get rid of the center line and now it's starting to look more like a set of stairs and now let's see what it's going to look like when it is finished so here I have carpeting with wood risers, basically. That's what it's supposed to look like anyway. And I don't think a stairway like this should be a problem. You should have a problem getting it through your local building department. Um, it's still going to have the measurement is from face of riser above to face of riser below or the end of the tread to the back of the tread. Uh, and if you have a nosing, of course, it would be from the front of the nosing to the front of the nosing on the next one. So anyway, that's it for this uh, design. Hopefully it makes sense. If it doesn't, feel free to leave some questions in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.